All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. I, I was just sitting here uh, and started this video, and I realized that I had all my rifles in the background covered up. Now, that's just not really cool. And over there, I've got a whole row of really cool rifles as well. And the beauty of it is, is that uh, I live in North Carolina. And unfortunately, today, there are several states out there that are turning towards the evil. And one of those happens to be the state of Illinois. Yeah, so my good friend Steve sent me this article, which I thought was really important. And we're going to touch base on the bumpity bump, the stocks of the bumps. And then we'll also uh, go ahead and talk about how the ATF, as of yesterday, and we'll do that later on today, but as of yesterday, went ahead and did the ruling on the uh, pistol braces and uh, what they're going to do. So it makes for an interesting day so but anyway this story is about the guys over there in illinois and uh, the, as the title of this video shows uh i think illinois is heading towards a civil war and this is the reason why so this comes from the way of abcnews.com or go.com and it's titled at least 74 illinois sheriff's departments vowed to defy the state assault weapons ban why is this such a bad deal if you say well <laughs> Dealers can't sell guns. They can't work on guns. They can't do anything that's relating to an AR-15 or that type of platform. I'm not going to call it an assault weapons because it's not. We all know it. It's the biggest and most valued and most popular sporting rifle in the country and always will be. The sheriffs say they believe the law violates the Second Amendment. I'm going to put the link down below just above the campsite where you guys can go and find the greatest deals. We're going to revamp that thing too as well. Uh, you're going to see some really cool stuff that's coming up. We're going to dedicate a lot of time to that thing. i got to pay some bills off. Just day after Illinois became the ninth U.S. state to ban assault rifles, the state already hit a roadblock to implementing the law defiant sheriff offices. Well, that's the reason why. It's because the great state of Illinois is not necessarily just a full-blown city of Chicago or Springfield. There's a lot of rural areas out there, and a lot of people love their guns. And you got Pritzker, who took his big fat ass out there and decided that he and the Democratic uh, administration uh, and the Congress, I guess what you call they went ahead and they blew through and formed this whole thing. It's not just that. It's it's magazines. It's uh, servicing a firearm. It's manufacturing. You talk about companies like Springfield. I have down here one of my favorite firearms. It's a Springfield uh, Long Slide V16. And I haven't done a video on it because everybody hated Springfield at the time. But I'm going to tell you something. Uh, yeah, these guys are getting ready to get hammered. Just days after the Illinois ninth uh, became the ninth U.S. state to ban assault rifles, the state already hit a roadblock to implementing the law defiant sheriff's office. At least 74 Illinois sheriff's departments have publicly vowed to defy elements of a recent gun control law signed in by Mr. J.B. Pritzker. His dad was a crook. He was a crook. Daly was crook. Daly Sr. was a crook. Daly Jr. was a crook. Which banned assault weapons, high-capacity magazines, and switches. I don't know what the hell a switch is. The officers have vowed to not check if weapons are registered. Because you got to register all your... Uh, yeah, if you have... You can, you're allowed to keep your so-called assault weapon. But you're going to have to pay a $25 fee. And you're going to have to register it. So, you know what registration leads to, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Confiscation. Confiscation. The officers have vowed not to check if weapons are registered with the state or house. Individuals arrested only for not complying with the law. As the number of uncooperative sheriff's offices increased, Pritzker, that fat asshole, has made his own vow to ensure those members of law enforcement who fail to do their job won't be in their job. And this is hence the reason why I say... These guys are heading for a civil war. Because I'm going to tell you something. Yeah, those individuals who cling to their Bibles and their guns, there's a lot of people in Illinois. And I believe you me. The Illinois Sheriff Association has issued a statement Wednesday expressing continued opposition to the law. Simultaneously, dozens of sheriff offices began to post nearly identical messages promising they would not check for compliance with the law or arrest defenders of the law. Jim Kachuk because there's a lot of Polish people up there in the Illinois area. Executive director of the Illinois Sheriff's Association said he drafted the statement which sheriff offices began to sign and or, or modify. All right, so here's the deal. Therefore, as a custodian of the jail and a chief law enforcement official for DuPage County, 
that my neither myself nor my office will be checking to ensure lawful gun owners register their weapons with the state nor will they be arrested or housing law abiding individuals that have been charged solely with non-compliance of this act. DuPage County Sheriff James Mendrick wrote in a statement which was mirrored by dozens of other officers. Civil War, baby. With a population over 920,000 residents, DuPage County is the largest county to defy the law. ABC News was able to identify at least 59 sheriff offices that issued a nearly identical statement. The main identifiable difference between the statements being that the letterhead and the name of the county in the text of the statement. Kudos to you guys. Stick up for your rights. It's a clear violation of her Second Amendment, and I'm surely think that there's going to be lawsuits that are going to be brought up against these dumb... I, I just absolutely hate... I hate people in the government. I can't stand them. It just sickens me. And I'm not talking about our guys out there in uniform or, you know, fighting abroad or doing whatever they got to do or training every day, jumping out of airplanes. I'm talking about the idiots that try to run this country and this state. In total, at least 74 offices said they plan to not use resources to enforce elements of the law impacting nearly 4 million Illinois residents or over 30 percent of the state's residents. Other than DuPage County, the most populous counties in Illinois are Cook, Lake, and Will counties have not issued any statement opposing the law. Why? Because they need the tax money. Those big, fat, nasty-ass counties, they can't live and support the homeless little weak-ass individuals without the tax money from the state. So, oh, they won't defy this thing. The deadly 2022, I don't want to even talk about that bullshit. Everybody talks about the deadly stuff. Most of the sheriff offices opposing the law reside in counties with less than 100,000 residents, though nine defiant counties have populations exceeding 100,000. Katchik said he disagreed with the idea that the sheriffs have an obligation to check compliance with the law of or house offenders in their jails. This is not a charge that is provided to us or mandated to us in the bill that passed and was signed by the governor. Many of the sheriffs defying the law have described their opposition to the law as akin to civil disobedience to protect the second amendment you damn right and kudos to you guys we will not be enforcing it in this county i will also not house anyone in my jail that has violated this act because we know it's unlawful act by the general assembly and the governor <laughs> jefferson county sheriff jeff bullard senior good god i love this guy I, I just got i got chills i got goosebumps just thinking about this guy this is incredible but they're removing everything, all the, all the high-capacity magazines, which goes into the thing with the whole YouTube BS where we can't show inserting a magazine because it's considered a banned accessory, a 30-round magazine. But you can say it's 25-round, but you just can't show it being inserted. Sangamon County Sheriff Jack Campbell, whose jurisdiction cover, covers nearly 200,000 residents, signed a modified version of the statement. In an interview with ABC News, Campbell based his opinion or his opposition to the law due to both adherence to the Constitution and ineffectiveness of the law. Yes, total bullshit. Uh, the law will have zero impact on the murder rate. Absolutely. Hey, but you know what? It's all about feel good. It's all about feel good laws. And that's all it is. They want to make themselves feel, look, we did something. Yay. We destroyed a bunch of people's lives and we ruined their jobs and their manufacturings and their companies. Yeah, thank you, assholes. <laughs> Some offices took less defiant stances, which include waiting for a movement from the courts or a legislation act. I understand that our nation has witnessed frequent tragedies involving gun violence. Guns are only one part of it. The person committing the violence, which, by the way, this no cash bail bullshit that you're trying to push up there. And I don't even know if they did that. That's absolutely asinine. Uh, when asked why he decided not to enforce the law rather than to wait for the action from the courts, Campbell returned his belief that the law is unconstitutional and will eventually be struck down. Absolutely. All right. I'm not going to continue on any further, but uh, yeah, this is pretty good. I want to thank my good friend Steve uh, from uh, Chicago. Uh, thanks very much for sending this to me. Uh, like I said, we've got a lot of things that are coming out here in the near future, and a lot of the stuff is just absolutely unconstitutional and it's absolutely disgusting and it's absolutely sick and a civil war starting in illinois it's kb32 if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and head over to do support the red white and blue god bless america god bless those men women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom because freedom is not free and i'm talking about the men and women in uniform just like those guys right there that support our constitution 
you guys don't forget to check out the uh campsite down below and link to this uh abcnews.go.com uh and again thanks steve y'all be good i'm out of here boom